How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you can see today, it is my childhood hero and icon, literally an icon on this game, it's Icon Moments, Alan Shearer. We're going to review him today, as you know, I'm a Newcastle fan, but there will be no bias in this review, no bias whatsoever towards Newcastle, towards Shearer, and uh, we're going to review him today and see what he offers on Ultimate Team. Now, he's had a massive upgrade, and his shooting category is 98 now, including 99 finishing, 99 shot power, and 99 nine penalties but will that make any difference to the card lads today we find it out so if you do enjoy you know what to do bring that hype smash the hell out of that thumbs up button on this video let's aim for 1000 likes and if you are new to the channel drop a subscription as well and subscribe to the channel click that little notification bell too to be notified of when i do upload so alan shearer will play straight in a 4 2 3 one ronaldo on the wing neymar it cam and best on the wing as well supplying those crosses those ammunition towards alan shearer so lads you you know he's a goal scorer you know he can bag goals on this game but will he be a dynamic striker? That's what I'm looking for. Lads, let's get into it. So here we go, and as you can see, he is very costly. You can see in the top left-hand corner of your screen, 1.8 million to 2 million on the Xbox, 1.5 to 1.7, so it's a little bit less than the PlayStation. At the same time, I still think that's far too much. He's um, he's coming with two-star skill moves, man. He can't even do roulette, which is a shocker against Alan Shearer in real life. I'm pretty damn sure he could definitely do roulette. He's got a three-star week, but again, another shocker from EA. He should have four-star, because he could definitely bang him on the left peg. High to medium work rate, size good for the card and he is six foot as you can see by his card stats they look tremendous again 98 shooting gotta reiterate that 83 pace 80 dribbling and 88 physically he is very strong in this game as you're about to see by his in-game stats as you can see on the screen he's got 90 strength 81 aggression very aggressive in the challenge and very strong with his upper body balance and uh kind of pushing people off the ball and whatnot very very good at that his jumping his heading incredible absolutely incredible hitting 95 accuracy and jumping is 90 with 86 down and go all game long. In terms of the bad stuff about this card, you've got to look at the dribbling category. 77 dribbling, <laughs> that's not good. He's got 72 agility and 72 balance. Even though I've got engine on the card, it really did not make a difference in terms of agility and balance. He still felt very, very clunky on this game. And again, we'll get into that once we do it. The cons, he's got 93 kick accuracy, 84 short pass. His vision is only 76 though, and he's got 82 curve. In terms of pace, it's not bad, it's not good. 84 acceleration at 81 sprint speed. The shooting category is where it's at with this card. So I thought, you know what, could be like a Van Basten. I know you're seeing why he did get this moment on your screen right now. He's scored a hat trick in uh, from the 77 minute onwards to earn Newcastle a 4-3 win against Leicester City. So what kind of goals can he score then, lads? As you're about to see on the screen, he scores all types of goals. This cross from, uh, oh my good God, I think it was from best, but oh, honestly, it, it doesn't matter when uh, that's going in like that. It doesn't matter in the slightest. What a bicycle kick by Alan Shearer. And that was my first goal with the card. I thought, yes, I'm on a winner here. He's going to score goal after goal after He's going to be amazing. I was kind of wrong. I was, I was kind of wrong. But he does score goals. I can see the top left, well, top right hand corner of your screen. Seven games played, nine goals scored, and zero assists. What's the finish that was for his first goal, though? Absolutely incredible. So that shouldn't carry you then. And how he can score goals like that. He's got 90 attacking position and bonus. A fantastic stat with the card as he powers it in from distance there in the background. He's got 99 finishing, 99 shot power. 89 long shots, 98 volleys. If you can volley with Alan Shearer, you're golden, man. You are golden. You're bagging those volleys every single time. And he's got 99 penalties. Those are the kind of the shooting category I expected of his prime when his prime did get announced. Unfortunately, it didn't really happen. And he's got a sensational header there in the background. And you'll see on the replay, he arched his back, he arched his head, and he kind of flicked it like backwards over the top of the keeper. Again, another nice little finish by Alan Shearer. That's the head and accuracy coming into play. 95 head accuracy and he can definitely bring those like silky finishes man that is a silky finish the keeper shouldn't come out the punch right there that's a lovely lovely header by alan shearer into the back of the net apart from that he didn't offer too much. He didn't offer too much in the game. He offered finishing. Of course, he could have went with myself there. I tried. Alan Shearer's weak foot. Hit an early bloody miss, man. It's like an open goal. He hit both posts. That's how bad his weak foot is. Three star weak foot. Has to be a con with this card, and it is a con. In terms of the best stats, he got the 99 shot power, the 98 second position, and the 99 finish. Also, he's got 99 penalties to boot as well. In terms of the worst, it's got to be the agility and bounce. Probably the dribbling thrown in there, too. Uh, 72, 72, and 77. Pros, 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 the finishing, incredible. This guy can score goal after goal after goal. Kind of reminds me, 
of a Van Basten, of a Van Nistelrooy, the Prime, Prime, uh, I, I don't know what the hell you call these cards, man. Is it Optimus Primes? Is it Prime Icon Moments? I'm just going to call them Moments soon. Um, the Moments Van Nistelrooy. Again, it reminds me a lot of that card. And Van Nistelrooy, I think, had more about him, which I didn't want to say. I really did not want to say that when I bought Alan Shearer because he is very expensive. No SPC for this card out at the moment. He is very expensive as he scores on his left peg there in the background. But I've got to say that left foot... It's shite. It's, it's so bad, man. It's a discredit to Alan Shearer. It really is a discredit to Alan Shearer because this guy can score on both feet and he can score what he said. He was that good in real life in terms of goal scoring. Everything, like in front of goal, it turned to goals and gold every single time. As the ball goes down the wing to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, cuts it back. I could have backed one more time and it's another nice little header into the back of the net. In terms of shot power, 99, there's nothing I need to explain there. It's sensational, it's incredible, and it catches the keeper out. If you've got a striker with 99 shot power, 99 finishing, and 89 long shots, you're gonna score goals. You are gonna score goals on this game. And Alan Shearer, he guarantees you that, especially with his heading as well. As you can see, his heading is incredible. Very accurate, even though Courtois dives under and over the ball at the same time. Never seen anything like it, man. Uh, yeah, in terms of strength, he's got strength about him. He can hold up, he can be a target man. And that's what I had him set as, man. Not in getting behind or anything like that. Has him set as a target man because that's what you can utilize this card as. It's target man, let the wingers or um, the cams running behind. I was using a 4 2 3 one and then a 4 3 3 attack and later on. Um, you can let the cams running behind so you can hold up the ball and just like pass the ball into the flanks. His positioning, sensational, incredible, it does it's so good on this game. High to medium workers and 98 second positioning. And when it comes to cones, obviously the, the free star week for terrible. Two stars, you can't even roulette, boys. What you want to do for a little bit of skill with Alan Shearer, if you do want to do it, is hold the left trigger and do a fake shot facing the way that you're facing. So if I'm running left, I'm holding the left stick, left, and I'm holding the left trigger, and I'm doing a fake shot forward. And uh, it will do like a heel to heel, but it's not a heel to heel because you can't do heel to heels. It's like um, a side foot to side foot. It's like a shimmy, but um, that's the skill that you want to do with this card because that's the only skill I can bloody do with two star skills. And the fact he is very, very clunky on this game. I did put an engine on him to kind of, I don't know, make him feel less clunky, but I just didn't see it, man. His dribbling would have went up. It would have went up the 87. His agility would have went up. I didn't see a difference in that whatsoever, apart from uh, maybe the bicycle kick and whatnot. And the balance, that would have went up too. But again, his balance was shite. His agility was terrible. And his dribbling, non-existent, boys. Non-existent. So all in all, was I happy with this card? Was I impressed with this card? I was... Satisfied with his finishing. I wasn't impressed by the card. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I was <laughs> for a Newcastle fan, for a Shearer fan. I was expecting a lot more in this game from Alan Shearer. He, they've, they've kind of let him down. They have really let him down in terms of the skill moves, in terms of the weak foot, in terms of like um, dribbling in general. When he was in like Blackburn and stuff, his dribbling uh, was very good, very powerful dribble on him as well. But um, he wasn't like uh, Messi or anything like that. Don't get it twisted or nothing like that. Uh, but he was still a decent dribble on the ball. 77, that's a discredit to the card in general. So all in all, lads, Alan Shearer will get the rating of a disappointing 8.7. No, <laughs> did not want to give him that rating. Did not want to give him that rating. All the bias in me, I wanted to give him a higher rating, but I'm not biased in this review by any way, shape, mean or form. As you can see by the rating I've given, value of coins 4.8 because tradable, yes, you can sell. I've already sold mine for 1.8 million or something like that. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. 1.8 to 2 million, far, far too much for this card. 1.5 to 1.7 is more reasonable, but that is far too much for this card. I'd rate him at like a million max in terms of an icon, in terms of the value of the icon. But going off other players in this game, he's not worth like 500k. And that, that pains me to say it, man. It really pains me to say I, I wouldn't even pay 500k for this card. It massively pains me to say that because I'm a fan of Shearer. I want him to be good in the game because, like say, if you're a Liverpool fan, you want Steven Jar to be good, right? If you're an AC Milan fan, you want Clown Sadov to be good. It's that kind of reasoning with myself. Enjoyment at 8.0, which I normally give higher ratings, but I didn't really get that much enjoyment out of the card. When the goals hit in the back of the net, yes, I did. Of course I did. But um, apart from that, he can't dribble. He can't do many things on this game. He really, really can't dribble. I need to kind of stress that he can not dribble on this game, of course. In terms of the perfect links, gotta look at Scorsi, Paul Scores, uh, Gary Lineker, other English icons on this game. In terms of foot champs ready, completely missed it out. I'm giving an eight out of 10 in that category because um, he can't play the foot champs and he can't score. He can easily score for champions. 
But that being said, he doesn't offer that much to your team. He really, really doesn't. In terms of the strong links, you've got any icon on this game, Maradona, for example, or you've got any Englishman on this game, Wayne Rooney, for example. And of course, he's getting to kind of be a theme of this channel with icon reviews. The weak link is... Neymar. Neymar's always the weak link when it comes to icons, unless he's Brazilian, because they link to anyone on this game. Similar players, we've got Gary Lineker, Radamel Falcao, which is possibly uh, one of the more similar cards, but literally, he's, he's, uh, Falcao's better than this card. Easy it's easy for me to say that. Van Basten as well, similar card, and uh, I'd say similar to Rude Van Nistelrooy at his primer icon on this game. In terms of the key pro, I'm going with the finishing. The finishing is incredible. The, the key con would be the very clunky. Uh, he's so clunky on the dribble, man. It's like he's dribbling. A, he's got no legs when he dribbles. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. He falls over. He's... He's just not balanced. He's just not balanced. Simple as that. He's not balanced on the dribble. In terms of best chem style, I will say engine because I'll stick with engine. But it, I, I didn't see I didn't see a difference in the card. But it takes him to a 94 rating per position striker on this game. And the player per position with the nation. Rashford is still number one. Rudy's still number two. Owen is still number three. Sturge is number four. I did have Alan Shearer's prime at number five. This one stays at number five, man. I thought it would be a massive improvement. Unfortunately. I was kind of wrong. I was kind of wrong. But hey, you're going to get wrong sometimes, aren't you? But anyways, lads, hope you have enjoyed this review. It's the one that you did want to see because you guys know I'm a Newcastle fan. You guys know Alan Shearer is my childhood icon. And uh, I did want to buy this card, man. I did. But he, he let me down. He let me down. Not Shearer himself. Not the, not the icon itself. Just like the way... Ears in game, it'll let me down. But anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you haven't, let's give you some insight into Alan Shearer and his prime icon moments. You know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash the hell. All that thumbs up button in the comment section below. Let me know who to do next. And as always, I will catch you all next time.